first let's tell you about who uh, Yaya Sinwar exactly is. So Yaya Sinwar, of course, was born on the 29th of October 1962 in the Khan Yunus refugee camp of Gaza. And in fact, uh, let's quickly go across to the next slide. He was, uh, he of course, completed his bachelor's degree in Arabic studies from the Islamic University. He was also one of the early members of Hamas when it was in fact founded in 1987. So he's of course been a constant uh, in this group. He was imprisoned by Israel in the late 1980s uh, and he had received four life sentences for the rampant killings uh, as well, which he was accused of earlier. In 2008, he had overcome brain cancer with uh, treatment from Israeli doctors. And uh, he was released in 2011 as a part of a prisoner's exchange for an Israeli soldier who was captured by Hamas. Upon his release, he presumed his role in the Hamas political and military apparatus. And uh, of course, if he has uh, eventually become the group's leader in Gaza in 2017. Well, he also uh, had become head of the Hamas political bureau in August following Ismail Haniyeh's elimination. He was a primary architect, it is believed, of the October 7th attack on Israel, the deadliest of its kind that Israel has ever faced. He would also stopped using communication devices to disable Israel intelligence to be able to track him. Meanwhile, uh, he had also diverted all of Gaza's resources to finance building of terror. Uh, he was uh, uh, reportedly underground attack tunnels, rocket launchers and weapons. Uh, also used Gaza civilians as human shields by positioning their terrorist infrastructure inside hospitals, kindergartens and humanitarian se centers. These are all allegations uh, that he faces. He, also, he of course finally was uh, eliminated in southern Gaza in an unplanned operation by the IDF. This is what of course Benjamin Netanyahu has announced. Now. Uh, Yaya Sinwar, of course, becomes the latest top Hamas leader to be killed by the IDF. Earlier, Mohammed Daif also was eliminated, commander of Hamas's military wing, and Marwan Issa, deputy commander of uh, the military wing of Hamas. Well, uh, remember, of course, uh, Khalid Mishal now uh, uh, is, these are the top Hamas leaders who are still alive. He is possibly the next Hamas chief, that's what we believe. Khalid Mishal, also Mohammed Sinwar, head of operations, the brother of Yaya Sinwar. Uh, is of course uh, still active uh, and uh, meanwhile uh, these are those who have of course been eliminated already that is Ismail Haniyeh and uh, Raad Saad and Saleh Al Aruri. Saleh was commander of the Al Qasam Brigade, uh, Raad was head of production and these are some who of course continue to be alive, Mahmood Al Zahar, Mohammed Shabana and Ravi Mushtaha. These are more uh, leaders of the Hamas who have been uh, eliminated. Rafa Salama, uh, Ahmed, and uh, of course, you had another one there. Uh, Ayman Siam, Raad Tabat, and Ghazi Abu Tama also amongst those eliminated by the ITF. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.